Um, thank you for watching this video on how to download your roster and how to email it um, to yourself. I'm here with one of our volunteer instructors. Her name is Nancy, and she's going to be having me guide her through the steps so that way you know exactly how to download your class roster. So we're in Saba right now, which is our learning center. Um, we go there by typing in classes.redcross.org in your browser. We're going to log in using our Saba LMS username and password. Your username should be your Red Cross email address. So Nancy, go ahead and type in your email address under username. Good. I got that. There you go. And now yep. click in the password box. That's right. And I'll just look at it to make sure it's good. Okay. Perfect. And there we go. As a note, if you're having trouble with your username and password, you could always click the forgot password or um, user link at the bottom of the page. But Nancy has her password incorrectly, so we can go ahead and log in. Great. So now that we are in the home page of LMS, we're going to go to the top right hand side of the screen where it says welcome your name and we're going to click the down arrow right next to home so that we can open the drop down and select instructors desk. Perfect. So now that we are in the instructor desk screen, we can go to the left hand side of the screen right under the Red Cross logo and click reports. In the report section, you'll see a couple of lists for different reports. We want to go to the offerings list and expand it by clicking the plus sign. And the first report in the offerings list is the American Red Cross Clash roster. We're going to opt to have it emailed to us. So let's go ahead and go to the right hand side and click email. And Nancy is going to enter the email address she prefers to have the report sent to her. So in this case, it's the Clash roster. So Nancy, go ahead. You can type in your email address. Great. And in order for this to work, you have to have something written in the subject. And then you also have to have something written in mail text. So Nancy's just going to type in my roster. And now she's also going to enter the offering ID in the last box of the class that she wishes to get the roster for. The magnifying glass. Uh-oh. I think you okay. have to do it again. I think somehow you clicked outside of the box before clicking the magnifying glass. That's okay. <laughs> Pract practice is how you'll get it. <laughs> it's very, very touchy. Of the mouse to the magnifying glass, carefully. There you go. Now click down. And then hit the name of the class, Adult First Aid. Right there. Click. There you go. And now, you're good. So now go ahead and hit preview to make sure that it, it grabbed the information. And there we are. There we are. There's the roster. So um, we're going to go ahead and click the X and exit out of it. Now that we know that it works um, from the preview, we can go ahead and click the send button, which is right next to the preview button. There it is. And then if it sends successfully, you'll get a response from Saba that says email is sent. And then you can hit OK for that. Hit OK. Yeah. Perfect. So now what we can do is go ahead and click the reports tab again. So now there's another report that I want you to be able to pull and that's the report to see if they did the online content. So if you click the offerings plus sign again, the plus sign next to offerings, and then if you scroll down, you'll be able to see the third report is American Red Cross online content completion status. So if you want that to be emailed to you, you can click the email button on the right and do the same thing. Enter your email address. Got it. And then in mail text, enter online report. Online report. Okay, I'll just... And in offering ID, you can enter the same offering ID for that yep. class. Okay, same one. And click the name of the class right there. Yeah, click. And then go ahead and hit preview to make sure that it registered. And there it is. So it looks like um, so far none of the students have done their online content. Because you'll see where it says content completion status, it says not evaluated. Yeah. So um, 
in that case, as, as it gets closer to the day, probably either the day before or the morning of, you might want to pull this report again to see if any of them are marked as successful. All right. So there, so there you have it. So um, thank you, Nancy. That's how you um, download your roster and also how you access the online status completion report via Saba Instructor's Desk. Thank you for watching. And thank you, George, for help being so patient and helping with it. No problem, Nancy. Have a good day. You too.